Good morning from Carnival Jubilee. Here we are in the stateroom. It was a wonderful night's sleep. Bed is super comfy. Just not a whole lot of noise even though I'm right on the corner. Um, the one thing I will say is it did get a little warm for me, but um, I had my little fan so it helped a little bit, but great night's sleep. No complaints there. So now today is going to be a day of finding all the stuff on the ship that is kind of different than the other two sister ships and also doing all the planned activities and all that. It is Christmas Eve so I think there's a few activities planned for that um, and just like a little like Facebook group activity list too. So it's gonna be a busy day. We won't get started until we head out. So see you around the ship. Okay so today's gonna be things of me pointing out what's different versus the other sister ships. So down here in Java Blue on the other ships, this is like a whole like case for sodas and waters and things like that. And then over here they usually have like grab and go sandwiches. Here it is only the little like beverage center. And then all the sandwiches and things are still down here. Just a change I noticed. All right, here we are in the Golden Mermaid or like the brass. Uh, kind of bar area that they have on Mardi Gras. It is laid out totally different. Like over here used to be where they would have the band, but now it's all right up here. And it looks like they probably cut it down maybe by like a third or a fourth. So it's definitely a different size. And this is why the Golden Mermaid is cut short. They added more of like a check-in area here and then like an entrance to get in so that not everybody is tripping over this it, like stuff like they do on Mardi Gras and then also this would be like the French Quarter part they added a ton of seating over here which I'm not gonna complain about because it's usually really short on other spots but a lot more seating a lot brighter kind of like a uh, photo op wall all right, here is the current area, which is um, kind of like the French Quarter area on Mardi Gras or like the travel kind of latitude area. Much more open, much brighter. They've added screens up to the top, not just on like the window side, but definitely a lot more open and spacious. straight into gameplay. Do you understand? I understand fully. Oh, okay, fully understand. The game has already started. Now, have you ever played on a game show before? This is your first time. Don't be afraid. Get nice and close. This is my first. Okay, perfect. Can I hear you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me a question. I answer the answer. And what is your name? Did I already ask that? Joe. Joe. Have I, did I ask that earlier? This is your first time asking my name. I'm glad you didn't have a microphone. I'm glad you didn't have a microphone. She said, uh-uh. All right, and uh, what was this little man's name? Jackson, is he your son? He is your, he is mine, he is mine. This is mine, this is my spawn. All right, don't be afraid, and how old is Jackson? Don't give him, come on closer. What, how old is he? Seven. He's seven years old, oh my goodness. And, and who are you guys to each other? This is my niece, June. Your niece, June, right after July, huh? That is the month after July. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's before July, sorry. 
you're not very good with dates, are you? I'm doing my best. You are doing your best. Hey, now, when is his birthday? That's his, your son? So secure your spot. The next round is eight. You currently have four. Ready, set, go. This is something that you go like this with. No acting out. Oh, I never hear that in the rules. Well, um, it is a type of something that is in a shed that you hit things with. Hammer. Yes. Point for the red team. No. Yes, it feels amazing, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, you guys are winning your very own 24 karat gold ship on a... Good afternoon from Carnival Jubilee. It has been a fun but very busy day. There is a lot of stuff planned for today. But as for us, we chose to kind of just walk around the ship and see the differences that were between the ships of the same class. And then we went to brunch. When we checked into brunch, it said that there was a 60 to 90 minute wait, and it was fairly accurate because we were right at 60 minutes from when we timed in to when they said our table was ready. And then once we got into the dining room, the service was not quick, but it wasn't like super, super slow or anything like that either. So um, make sure if you're planning on going to brunch that you just pack patience, and that's been that way on any of the ships I've been on but the quality of food this time was so much better than it had been, especially for carnival brunch. Um, we all got the like brunch, brunch potatoes or something like that, breakfast potatoes, whatever. Those were awesome. Uh, a lot of times they were just like cut, um, like wedged potatoes and then seasoned a little bit and cooked, but today, there was almost like a red sauce on them or like um, a red seasoning and then peppers and onions. And it was really good. I almost wish I would have ordered two of those orders instead of the regular like the circle hash browns that they have. But the brunch potatoes are definitely yes. Um, I got the chicken and waffles and it is still the chicken that is on the bone that they just chop in weird shapes. So you have to be careful of like the bone splinters and whatnot, um, eating that, um, just for those that have little kids that might eat it or, um, like, um, elderly dementia kind of parents or something like that. There are bones in it. So just be careful. Um, the waffle is just kind of their traditional uh, waffle. Um, I just always kind of think of it like as a, a, uh, like a, um, toaster waffle, I guess, like an Eggo waffle. But um, the um, whoever, the Mancheros were amazing. It was so, so good. It was kind of like a, like a fajita mix, but chopped chicken with um, lots of seasoning and peppers on a um, tortilla with fried, um, refried beans. And then on the top was a fried egg. Next time I will ask for scrambled eggs on top of that instead of the fried egg because I did not like when I cut into the yolk and it like oozed over. That's not me. But other than that, um, and that's just a me preference, not they cooked it wrong or anything like that. But it was very, very good. And then mom and dad had their items and everything came out together and warm, temperatured right. Um, it was really, really good. It was one of the best brunches we've had in quite a while. Um, after that, we went to a few um, just kind of walk around. We did go to towel folding and uh, it was a lot of fun and that central area was really nice for it to be big and open and able to do all that. And then after that they did bingo. Uh, we didn't play, we just watched, but it went really, really slow compared to like the line I was on last month um, with like in between each numbers. So you can play multiple cards on here, but it is more expensive and the pots or the winnings were nothing like the line I was on last month. So um, I just always like say when I go to this, especially in Carnival, that if I had kids that wanted to play bingo, I would go to the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store and get like their bingo cards 
and let them play bingo so that they think they're playing bingo. Um, and then just have like little prizes of your own or whatever um, versus paying what carnival charges, especially for little kids. Like they don't know, they just want to dob the numbers. So um, I don't know, that's what I would do if I had kids. But after that went and uh, went to the new show, which is What's Age Got To Do With It? which is definitely a family game show. They pick um, like an adult of the family and a child of the family um, that wants to compete. And then they pick four teams to go and do kind of like a matching answer kind of thing. And again, it depends on the contestants and like their openness and silliness and things like that. But it was a good, cute little game show that took, um, let's see, about an hour. So. It was a good time. Uh, a lot of kind of cute answers and of course Kindle Fire kind of plays into all this and all that. So that has been today so far. So I'm going to get ready. Tonight is formal night. It is also Christmas Eve. So happy Christmas Eve to all of those that celebrate. Um, but I gotta get dressed up because I'm with mom and dad this time. So it's going to be formal night. But I will see you around the ship and continue to make those memories and not dreams and live every day as a gift because that's what it is. Your husband touches in the morning. <laughs> the very first thing that he touches when he wakes up. What is it? Yeah. You don't watch it. <laughs> what do you think he touches? If you ain't watching him, what's he touching? What's the first thing that you touch? in the morning. As soon as you open your eyes, you're still in bed, you reach out your hand and you grab what? The very first thing. Are you sleeping alone or with someone? Well, I don't know y'all sleeping around you. Are you in the top bunk or the bottom bunk?
from Jubilee. I'm going to be heading down to the club here and we all know how that ends <laughs> of me coming home in the wee wee hours of the night or morning or whatever. So for now, good night from Jubilee. It has been a busy, 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 busy day and I cannot say that enough. They had so many things planned today that there's no way you could do even half of them. But when I left you last, we were getting ready for formal night dinner. So I did get all fancy and dressed, can't tell right now, but I did. And dinner was fabulous. Um, let's see, I didn't have like any like main courses or dessert. I just did appetizers and that's what I did. But uh, had the clam chowder, it was decent. There were a few. Um, my chunky potatoes and um, clams and stuff like that. Um, have I had better on other ships? Yes, but it was still good. It was still very good. I had the escargot, which never disappoints. They are up to five of the little escargot. They had been going like back and forth. There was even one time I got like three, but we're back up to five. And they serve it with a uh, mecca baguette or toast so good and then I also had like this small order of uh, chicken fettuccine which was a very good super creamy and just the right portion for me for tonight but after that went to the love and marriage show uh, and then they went and snuck in like the captain and officers introduction but it was kind of quick and there wasn't like really a toast or anything like that that I saw but the Love and Marriage show never disappoints. And especially when you have Kindle Fire who is super sarcastic and um, easy to derail, kind of like me. So I enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun. Um, I did take a few videos, but I saved most of it for those that were watching it. But after Love and Marriage, went to the piano bar for the first time. And um, I did like a couple lives and things like that. So make sure you're also checking my Facebook because I'm not putting everything in these vlogs or we would be here all day watching the recaps. So um, yeah, Piano Bar was great. He has a ton of props that he uses. So he's got like hats and sunglasses and boas and all kinds of stuff and very interactive. Um, does he like sit and sing the songs? like note for note or melody for melody, no. But he does keep you entertained and it's a lot of fun. And they have some like rituals that like if you put cash with your request, then when he does your request, you shoot a basket and you have to give everyone in the room high fives and things like that. So it was a lot of fun. But the main thing for tonight was the white night deck party up on the top. It was on the schedule for 30 minutes, but Kindle Fire blew it out of the water and it was over an hour. We did do a lot of like new dances and also some of the old ones and things like that. So it was a nice little kind of mix and all that kind of stuff, but it was so, so windy. So I am going to apologize for the wind noise because there was no way I could avoid it. There were other content creators up there and they were like circling the deck, trying to find a spot that just didn't have the wind. And it was almost impossible. So sorry for the wind noise, but it was a lot of fun. And um, it's leading into all the adults going down to the club and continuing that fun. Well, other than mom and dad who are going to bed, but it was a lot of fun. And today it was just so full of activities. I really enjoyed it, but I am getting exhausted but not too exhausted for the club. So if I take any videos of the club, I will put it in here at the end. Um, but if not, I will see you tomorrow and let me be the first to tell you Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. It is now Christmas. It's 12.04, so I can be your first. <laughs> but have a great holiday and I will see you tomorrow for another C day here on Jubilee. <laughs>